What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another daily Manchester City transfer update. Before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel. It is free to subscribe. Remember doing daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the whole summer transfer window for you guys to stay up to date with here on YouTube every single day with all the latest Manchester City transfer news. Social media links there in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below. And finally, this video is sponsored and brought to you by SofaScore. SofaScore is a free app to download, so worthwhile getting if you haven't done so already. Links and details there in the description. Very highly rated. They're going to keep you guys up to date with all the latest scores, statistics, analysis, and all your good sporting needs. All in one place, all in one app. They're not just covering football, by the way, but all the sports that you guys love to follow. As I said, it is free and worthwhile getting. And remember, anyone that does download SofaScore using my link in the description or the QR code, on screen does help to support the future content created here on my channel so I would appreciate any interaction towards that. So we're going to crack on with this video, we're going to start off with the outs we've got the very latest on goalkeeper True Grant. Now he plays for Manchester City and he has been loaned out, it's been confirmed by Buxton that he's going to be spending the season out on loan there so wishing True the very best of luck for the season at Buxton and hope he does enjoy his spell there and does go and ace his loan move there as well which would be absolutely brilliant now moving on we've got the very latest on liam delap and twtd.co.uk have said that liam delap has completed his ipswich town medical later yesterday uh, and uh, a fee of 20 million pounds was agreed with manchester city in the previous day where 50 million pounds is an upfront fee with 5 million pounds in add-ons it is thought that derby county are going to be getting a percentage of the fee as well with a sell-on clause agreed on that deal that saw Manchester City sign Liam Delap from Derby County's academy so they're going to be getting a percentage of that fee as well he is expected Liam Delap to be announced as an Ipswich Town player today that's according to Pete O'Rourke so that transfer very nearly complete uh, for him to join Ipswich Town from Manchester City. Now moving on, Fabrizio Romano has given us the very latest on Jack Grealish and he said that he's got no information linking Jack Grealish with the exit door at Manchester City and as far as he is aware and expects he will stay at Manchester City and very much is in Pep Guardiola's plans for next season so uh, that is that there was a rumor circulating that Jack Grealish was going to be let go by Manchester City but uh, as far as I'm aware Jack Grealish is going to be staying at Manchester City now moving on to the final transfer of the outstakes is on to an update on Edison now Rudy Galetti has said that Al Nasir are going to conclude their hunt for a new goalkeeper in the next week they very much are after Edison but they're also getting linked with Brazilian goalkeeper Alisson over at Liverpool as well they have both them goalkeepers as a priority Manchester City have told Al Nasir that they're wanting 50 million euros for Edison um, they wanted to pay 30 million euros for Edison apparently Man City could be negotiated to around 40 million euros for Edison for him to potentially join Al Nasir from the club or not they have said that uh, things are going to become much clearer from next week for this goalkeeping situation and a goalkeeper for Al Nasir to sign Manchester City still very much relaxed uh, relaxed about the situation no fee as of right now has been agreed between Al Nasir and Manchester City for Edison and Man City do still expect him to be a Manchester City player so uh, we will wait and see so moving on to the ends we've got the very latest on Danny Olmo and 90 minute football have said that Danny Olmo's release clause worth just over 50 50 million pounds or 51 million pounds or 60 million euros that is going to expire on july 15th of this year but 
with Spain qualifying for the final of the European Championships, it is being reported that Danny Olmo's release clause in his contract, that clause in his contract, has now been extended past July 15th and has been extended by five days to July 20th. So if Manchester City want to sign Danny Olmo for £51 million this summer for his release clause without having to do any negotiations with RB Leipzig, then they've got until July 20th to get that done and dusted and submitted the only other club right now interested are Barcelona they can't afford 51 million pounds in straight up cash Manchester City can um, so it is uh, RB Leipzig's preference anyway for Manchester City to sign Danny Olmo this summer rather than Barcelona Barcelona want to pay that release clause uh, in instalment so as I said RB Leipzig would prefer for it to come as one lump sum rather than in instalment so it does mean Manchester City if they are serious about signing Danny Olmo than it is very much a realistic transfer that could get done as I was reporting on yesterday and very much is the stance still for today as well. Man City happy and relaxed about the situation. If they want to make a move for Danny Olmo, are happy for this to go past his uh, release uh, clause date and are happy to sit down and negotiate a deal with RB Leipzig. Now it's fine for RB Leipzig to start asking for much more money but Danny Olmo and his camp know that he is valued at £51 million this summer as per his release clause so uh, they may be able to negotiate RB Leipzig that is a bigger fee for Danny Olmo this summer but it won't be much more than £51 million because it just doesn't give you that much leverage it's like a club now coming in for Bernardo Silva with his release clause being over for £50 million and Man City to start asking for £70-80 million it's just unrealistic and unfair we have that value of £50 million as per his contract. So if a club comes calling, once that date has expired, you're well within your rights to be asking for more, but you're realistically not going to be able to ask for much more, in particular if the player does want to leave the club and it sounds like RB Leipzig are happy for Danny Olmo to leave uh, for that release clause fee that we're looking at here so if Man City do want to make Olmo happen it's a very realistic pretty simple easy straightforward transfer to make happen and as I said yesterday City have got very good relations with RB Leipzig after our successful negotiations for the deal to sign Yoshko Gavardiol last summer so it's all about do Man City want to make a move and as I've been maintaining throughout the whole summer transfer window it is going to take sales first for Man City to go out there and sign players so uh, we will see what happens in terms of Man City's midfield still waiting for clarification on what's happening in that new number six number eight role what's happening with Kevin De Bruyne Bernardo Silva Mateus Nunes Mateo Kovacic what's happening in terms of them making sure that them uh, situations are clearer we won't have a clearer indication on them until the end of July and these players start to come back from their holiday and they make the decision on what's going to happen so it is going to be a, a very busy end of July I think for player sales for Manchester City and I suspect could be quite busy in terms of incomings as well from the end of this month through August as well remember season doesn't start until uh, middle to the end of August for this season as well with all the major international tournaments happening so uh, don't start panicking or being concerned about Man City not doing too much in the window as of right now. Not many clubs are doing too much in the window. It's all down now, not to the restrictions of PSR, but just down to the international tournaments. Players being uh, at them and on holiday until these players come back. You're not going to have a clearer indication about what clubs want to do with their players and selling players and signing players. And Man City, also the case for them as well so there we go that has been today's transfer update if you did enjoy this video do leave a thumbs up 300 likes is the aim do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below do subscribe if you're new around here daily manchester city transfer updates rolling throughout the whole summer transfer window for you guys to stay up to date with here every single day on youtube so if you haven't already do subscribe it is free to subscribe social media links there in the description if you want to go and follow me on my twitter instagram and tiktok email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries and finally do go and check out today's video sponsor which is brought to you by SofaScore. See you all again real soon, religiously, tomorrow for the next Daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.